Day 35. And still alive. Okay. I need lots more concrete. And what else do we get in the building materials? I need more wood. What do we got? Oh, get in there. I also need battery banks. How do I build them? One, two, three, three, three. Okay. Take a full stack of that. You off your you should be cans. You should be plants. You should be Plant. Oh. And you should be cans. Fresh fruit. Okay. I've got to. I can replace that with a storage box. But it won't have this plate on the top. I can make a plate. Okay. What missions have we got? Red Mesa. Yeah, right. I think... More important... ...is we make a trip to the hills. Um, doing strip mining. I have no stone for concrete or building, so it's going to be boring. I'm going to go and hack away at some rocks. It's got iron and coal there, but I also need nitrate and lead. I wonder what goes along here. Let's just go up here. Where's the map? Okay, so I can go through there straight up and accelerate away from the Muppet who's attacking me. A bear? Is that a real bear? Another Muppet? I have this mod with um, easy zombies. It's like Snufkin's extra mod. Um, zombie mod. 
The treble is, they're a bit weird looking. I mean, that's a normal one. Let's see if we can find some. We gotta go north. Ooh. That's a normal one. Three lumps of coal in one place. Now it's not gonna show me any. So I'm trying to head to here. That's one of them. It's got the ghillie suit on and it's a jumper. Like a spider zombie. Ah, uh, he's normal. It's quite a few of them. I haven't seen any irradiated versions. But I suspect if it's uh, another blood moon tonight, and it might be. Who knows? I have it um, set so that there's a blood moon every night, but the variance is 15 days, which usually gives me a blood moon once every seven days, but it can be more frequent or less frequent. I might tweak it. I might tweak it so that there's a variance of 10 days. Yeah, here's one. Look, it's green. It's got funny fat legs, bald head. Ouch, and long arms. Ouch. There's another one. He's fast, he's like a runner. So we'll stay away from these. I'm gonna go up this little hill here. Bonker. Unfortunately, there's no nitrate that I've found yet, but there will be. So I'm going to park my bike here and toast this guy. Look at him. So he's got like a ghillie suit on. He's really quite creepy because he's in the grass. It actually works. So you can't see him. What I need is um to kill her. I've got a whacking on me. Ouch. So we need uh, the auger. And half the gasoline. Actually, has this got gas in it? more than half the gasoline so the way I do mining is I literally strip mine, I take a strip of land and cut the arse out of it it means I can get lots of different materials and I don't get collapsed on this is noisy by the way so I don't care if it collapses around the edge. I need clay. I need everything. So. Makes a hell of a noise though. And I think I'll mine here too. Midday, maybe. Know what I'm missing? Should have brought coffee with me. This is a new one. They look suntanned.
didn't bring any coffee, but we're going to munch some of this and use some of this and some boiled meat. Oh, it was helped. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. That's uh, iron. Hello. Hello to my shotgun. Oh, then I looked around. Uh, there's another one. Whilst it's quite good, it's it's um it's not a total cheese base based on one that um, the base is based on. It's um one that Ja Woodle built. He's an Australian streamer. It's basically a ramp in front of a a window, and they run along these little bars to get to the ramp and you can hit them or shoot them or whatever you like and they fall off and they come around again you have to keep an eye on the strength of the the wall in front of you because it it can be destroyed so it's not a total cheese if you like But it, I mean, it's an active defense, let's say. Oops. As, um, game stage goes up, I may dig a hole under the base I've got, the home, the old fire station, and use that to do the mining. In the moment, I need like mega amounts of stone, particularly. I mean, coal is a bonus, as is iron, but when you get a wall that goes all the way around the outside of your base, it needs, well, it needs machine guns to protect the wall, and the wall needs to be upgraded to at least reinforced concrete. This latest build, it seems that when I change weapons, it my mouse is really hypersensitive.
here's the thing, I think when it generates a heat map, the heat map is what attracts the zombies. So, you know, cooking, making things, running, I don't know, forges, that type of thing, mining. It, it, it has an area of heat, and it can attract, like, screamers that scream in hordes. But I find that if you actually run this continually without going on and off all the time, the heat map is smaller. I think it, it generates less of a heat map. Him. Now he was probably attracted by the heat map. I'm going to eat. Let's eat one of these. It lasts five minutes. Gives me five food and boosted healing for a period of time. That's the other thing. Building in a fire. Firehouse. I was going to say fire station, but that's a British version of it. A firehouse is that it's got two of the um, vending machines. Which is pretty good if you're, you know, got plenty of money and you want to buy stuff. I think the best. Let me see. Well, the looting candy. And that's really good. Talking about which, if I'm going to get... Looting candy increases the chance that you find good loot, which is always... Let's face it, everyone wants good loot. Um, the sugar buds is um, when you're talking to a trader, you get added deals. Like a better barter bonus. Um, what else is there? Oh, there's the oh shit drops. Look at just if you're on the top of like one of these high-rise towers. You actually can set it so you get zero damage and jump off the top of the tower. It makes me feel a bit queasy when I do it. It's like, and I've got VR. I must try this in VR, but a VR version of this would be so much fun. Bonking zombies. How much we got? Let's see. We got 4,000 of that. And uh, a couple of thousand of that. We got some sand and 3,000 iron. And a little bit of coal. Yeah, we need more. And I, I'm close to a. See, I could get another level. But I'm thinking the living off the land. That might be a good one to say. I've got one level of it, which means that if I pick any plant. Instead of getting one, I get two. And if you take things like healing factor, it seems to chew through your food really quickly. And the, obviously the food has bonuses as well. They're, I don't know if they're hidden bonuses, but... It seems to me that, you know, if you can eat and whatever it is, and when after eating it, it, it gives you stamina for a period of time, or it gives you hit points, you should be using that.
I'd have to look at the um, server config file to see when I've got it set to announce that there's a horde coming up. I think it's either 9 or 12. I find it funny that you can be doing a mission and look up and suddenly, oh my god, there's a horde in a day or half a day. repairs. Okay. Eventually when I cut far back far enough it'll collapse in on itself. And that'll give me a pile of clay in little baggies. And because uh, you seem to use clay for everything. Um, cut a bit back here, and then cut another channel into it. Got to put a helmet light on. That was a bad choice for me. I have one in the base. I think when I go back. skill point and I'm thinking if I do living off the land oh I can't oh, well that's that if I do master chef I don't want really that but minus 69 air increased tool damage by 30 or mother load which harvest 20 percent more or I think mother load Because um, I need the the that's what it does. Oh, it does damage on you. A bit of damage. But it does open up the land a bit. If you hold that, it'll actually pull them towards. If you hold E when you've picked it up, it'll pull them towards you. Alright, now, knock the wall back a bit so I can dig a bit further in. and 
see we're not doing too bad we, we need more stone Uh, there is a book you can get from mining that gives you a chance to destroy a block with one hit. And that's when this thing comes into its own. I mean, it doesn't work on stone, but when you're cutting through, like, iron, I mean, this hits so many hits a second. And combine that with something that says, oh, you've got a chance of destroying the block straight away. You can rip through sort of all my like these veins of ore the other thing I've got a hey, uh mod in this. It's uh, Bigger Wandering Hordes by Jax Teller. If you... And it's... It will put a horde with 20 zombies more. Which, I mean... In an open cast mine like this, not too much problem. You can run around them, get out. But if you're down in a pit and 20 bloody zombies falling on top of you, and there's cops and you know, soldier zombies. That can cause a you know, a whole world of grief. So I'm like drill here, and then I'll try to go up there. So I'm concentrating on the one I'm on, but then I'll weaken the ones around it. I don't know if it does anything, but it seems to make it. Also, it gives you a chance to sort of peek around. You suddenly find that you have a zombie attacking you. This gives you a little bit more chance to see what's around. So that's coal. And um, it's like ores of coal. This is iron, and it sort of stops here.
I'm looking or I'm trying to find the edge of the iron. Because what happens is if you look where that coal is, there's like sand. The sand butts up against another ore type. So you're like coal here. And then you have the sand and this this is iron. Well there might be something the other side of this. This iron it might be well, Ideally, I would like to find some lead, maybe. Well, not a horde night. Burning shaft mod on a auger. I don't think you can do it anymore. It's quite good because it would illuminate the way you, when you were uh, digging. This I could probably drop. If I. Where is that? If I start here. And then go upwards. Break that one out. Stretchful integrity is, but it's not going to be that high. Need repairs again. And I'm nearly out of gas. Let's let's carve away. There we go. Pretty cool. If you think how the physics of this game work and the fact that there is an entire every block has a, a record has to be drawn. It's, it's pretty impressive when you think of how the the end game engine works. Okay, what am I at gas? How much gas have I got?
and we got a few gallons of gas left. I may have to take a trip to uh, the desert. That's the only place you can find oil shale to make gasoline, petrol, whichever you better call it. Australian spirit. That, or with nearly the end of the gas. Looting candy. Eye candy is good. Before I go to that red mesa face, it may be one I've done before because I've done a red mesa before on this map. And if it is, if the loot room will be empty. Uh, well, uh, until I reset the PR, the IRI. But if I um, haven't done it before, then I'm quids in because I can take some loot candy get high level loot and I can double raid it break into where they keep the loot which is in the tower on the left hand side and nearly out of gas yep out of gas so what do we get uh, not bad. We're gonna cook that. Use that. We need some more, obviously. But I think we're pretty much out of gas. Now, you can go in there. And then we we'll take some of this hackers. We've got lead. And we'll keep that. You can make um, military fibers with that. Alright, let's uh, head back. Take a little bit of a gentle drive through here. Hello, zombie. Just to see if there's a candy machine anywhere. Okay, now this tennis court, not tennis court, basketball court, it has a candy machine up here. If I've got any money on me, no money in there. How much money have you got in here? No money. Well, screw you. That idea can go out the door then. Might as well. Head, actually, head back to base. Fill the... Um, yeah, that's going to be the best option. As far as I... If I'm thinking about it. Is to... I head back to base. Start the forges going. Iron, whatever. 
particularly the um, concrete ones. And uh, once the forges are going, start out again. Uh, we might end up doing a night raid because it's like four in the evening. But at least I'll, you know, have things cooking. So I'm just going to change my status on. I'm going to hop into Discord and change my status to let people know I'm streaming. Not that. Uh, They take any notice of me in Discord. <laughs> I think in addition to... Uh, I definitely... Now I definitely need some gunpowder making stuff. So concentrate on coal um, that type of thing mm. are we still dead outside? well, obviously they're all dead, theoretically One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine slots blocked. Three. I am a crap shot sometimes. So we do one, two, three, four. And that's lead and brass, so... one. Let's chunk in a thousand. Do one, two, three. Cook that one along. Now in here we've got sand, cement, So we should be able to cook up a good batch of concrete. And fresh sand. Yeah, anything else okay. And obviously in here we'll dump the steel. In here we have, um, we can make a little bit of nitrate.
can have 6,000. You can have 6,000. Half the logs. Yeah, cooking away nicely. Ingredients in here. One, two. And we check in here. And we have a... Is that a helmet light? Yeah. So, what I forgot to do was let's take the armor off put the helmet light on which is much better for people who I mean I can see it's just extremely dark no okay any money nope put it in here no I haven't got any cash because I left it at the damn trader. I get a compound bow. So 1758. Um, I'm going to do some normal raiding. Which probably means I'm going to go over to this place. It's a hacker's. Because we're getting low on gas. We need all these bits anyway. And if I'm lucky. See, I'm... Look at this. So, I like this. I'm 4 to 5 here. I've got to buy another 2 here. 2 points. Parker, I have nothing. Light armor, I'm maxed out. Hidden strike is damn good. And from the shadows, I'm going to have to go. So, I have a chunk of points I need in here. Like, maybe seven. Over here, I'm only on level one. I want to get this second level lifted off the land. Because it means I can make berries and things. I, I can make plant all the seeds I've found. And gain seeds. Which is a pain in the butt, because that means I've got to make sure I'm the right one. Yeah, so I put one in fortitude, that's one point. One in living off the land, that's two. Probably add one in cardio and healing factor and iron gut, just to bring that up to a level. So that's five points. And then, obviously, I have a... No, yeah, that's because i got the goggles on, or the cigar, the strength. I can put more into here, Muckman, and into here to take it up, to get a decent level here. Master Chef, you don't need past the first one, you find them. I don't need back my old sexy text, Taran, <laughs> sexy Tyrannosaurus Rex. No, not really. Perception, I've got two in it. I could get a bit more Lucky Luto, but that's not as important as better barter. See, you can wear glasses. The glasses take that from 6 to 7. So if I add one in here, that'll make it up to 8. And what was I going to do? Yeah, I was going to go over to Discord. I said tap, tap that. I'm going to Discord and change my status. And then we can just hop in here. You never know.
never know. Someone might talk to me. Another engine. Hello, brother. <laughs> this one gives you iron and steel. Always a bonus to get a bit of steel and electrical parts. Now, the reason I'm picking up all this crap, and a lot of it is crap, is that it helps me make mods. So when I pick up armor, I can put mods in it. Now you look at it, and you look at the price of a mod, doesn't matter what it is, it's like 50. And the armor is like 350, 400. When you put the mod in the armor, instead of being sold separately and being worth, what, 450, it suddenly goes to 750. So it's always worth doing. So there. Right. I'd quite happily take everything out of this place. That's probably a Muppet. Ooh, you're a... a Cheapers. Feral biker. But ferals in this game travel at nightmare speed. Look at him, you say. Is he one of those new ones? Yep. A working workbench. Look on the sea on the roof. That's annoying. They put the hinge up against the ladder edge. What happens is you try and run up it and the damn thing messes up. There's a um nothing in here, is there? No. I don't think there's anything up here. Awfully quiet if it is. Oh, this bag. 
with some level six CDs. We'll use that. These are worth 90. If I repair it, I go up to about 150, maybe. What are they worth now? Oh, yeah, 150. If I add a mod to it, it might become 200. And what you don't want to do here is jump down onto that wall. Because there's mines on it. Which is no bueno. I'm going to put my looting goggles on. Frame. And that's generous of you. Gasoline. It's always good. I can build a mini bike now. Put it in my garage. I'm gonna scrap you. Use you. Um. How much as we got. I think we can take him down without wrecking the amount of loot I'm carrying around. Throw bags of loot out if your inventory is full. Uh, my inventory is pretty full. It's in there. Ooh, uh, let's. We don't need a feather, so let's put that there. And we can scrap you and scrap you. Probably scrap you as well. Wow, my hunger and thirst is well down. Well, my thirst is it's down. I think it's set up fifty percent. So if you're on half hunger and it, it's detrimental to what you do. But I mean I can use this as bring it gives me food and food and uh, fluids. This is two hits. Good selection of loot. There's anything in here. Go through the front. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. See the light mod? If I put the light mod on. And move around. See, I'm sneaking at 60. The green bar on the left hand side, 60. Whatever. That's because I've got a light. If I turn the light off, it goes in half. And it gets sneak damage. Three times bonus. Sneak is well overpowered the beginning of the game. I mean, later on when you're against tough opponents. It's not as bad. Look, dropping cement. What can I do? Uh, what don't I need? I know, let's wrap you and pick it up. I don't know if I've got a bike over here. Uh, let's put the batteries, the engine... The frame. That's um. I want to pick up the goodies before I do anything. Uh, 
You've got mail. Okay, let's open this. Ooh, that is. Ooh, I'm gonna build one of them. That will make my points go. Rapido. Let's. What do I need to build one of those? Let's. Nail gun. Nail gun, and it's twenty steel. Well worth it. Well worth it. I'll probably find one as soon as I build it. But just in case I don't. Polymers. Why not? Okay, it's night time. Screamer. He screamed, it'll call a horde in. I come back round there. There's one. Just a little horde. What? My inventory is full. Well, I mean. Not anymore. Weapons. Ammo. Armor. Those. Okay, eight thousand in there. Gonna sell you. And we're going to sell you tools. No. Mods. I don't think there's any. Meds. Okay. Usual materials. Anything can go in materials. Hearts. Miscellaneous building crap. That actually can come with me. Electrics. Nothing. You. Bones. Bring gunpowder in there. Hmm. 
You cooking sand? No, not yet. We got a chunk of iron over here. Four thousand. Keep him going. We need steel. We're not 130. Let's do a hundred steel. And the rest in iron. When it got down a bit, we're going to fix some clay. Alright, meds. Mods. Tools. Armor, your clothing, you can go in there. We get lead, so I want to make bullet tips. Need more lead, actually, bullet casings as well. Never have enough bullet casings. You nitrate. Thirteen minutes. And the food. So water. Here we have cans. I don't think we've got many cans. 